Hello, my name is Emily. Thank you for joining me today for some yoga. In today's yoga, we're going to focus on our hips and our lower back, taking the poses nice and slow. And the best thing is this is meant to be done on the ground or even better, in bed and after Shavasana, feel free to drift off into sleep. All right, to get started, let's come into a comfortable seated position on your bed or on the floor. And let's take a few deep breaths together. We'll inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And if it feels good, feel free to close your eyes. Let's bring our shoulders up, back and down and extend this spine. Pretend there's a cord going through the crown of your head to the sky. And perhaps drop your chin slightly. And let's breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's get our shoulders in there too. Inhaling, bring your shoulders up to your ears. And exhaling, relaxing the shoulders down. If your eyes are closed, gently bring them open. Now to get started, let's bring the feet out in front of your body, placing your feet together in front of you, making a diamond with your legs. So the first option is perhaps putting your hands on your knees and then extending, hinging at the hips, coming down. Option number two is perhaps your hands are on your ankles, elbows flared, and then coming down in this way. Or option number three is threading your hands and bringing them up and over your, to the top of your feet. So we'll do whichever feels best for your body. And if you feel like it wouldn't feel good for your body, feel free to skip this position completely or any position for that matter. Let's inhale, extending through the spine and exhale, taking the pose that feels best for you. Now imagine on each inhale, extending through the spine and in each exhale, just deepening into the pose, trying to soften the body. <sighs> Inhaling, up, releasing your hands, coming up. Exhaling, <sighs> relaxing slightly. Inhale, expand through the spine. Exhale. I'm drawing my left heel towards my back and, it, and sweeping my right foot out towards the side. My right toes are pointing towards the sky, so my feet are engaged. Now inhale, straightening up through the spine. Exhale, drop a hand towards the knee, sweeping the opposite hand up and over. Checking in with your body, seeing if you can relax your shoulders and lift the hand even more. If it feels comfortable, feel free to gaze towards your fingertips. Relaxing through the shoulders. Let's exhale. Releasing. We'll inhale here. And on the exhale, let's switch our legs. Bringing the right heel towards your back. Extending through the left foot, toes reaching towards the ceiling. Inhaling, extending through the spine. Placing the left hand near your knee and sweeping the hand up and over. So checking in with your body, seeing if you can relax the shoulders 
and lift the hand back slightly. If possible, gaze towards your fingers. Inhaling here, and on the exhale, coming down. And on the inhale, let's bring our knees together, bringing our body around, and exhale, bringing your body down to the ground for a modified pigeon pose. So for a modified pigeon pose, I'll start by keeping my right knee bent, and then inhaling, Bringing my left knee back and perhaps crossing the left ankle over the right knee. So this is option one. Option two, perhaps you float your right knee in clasping behind your right thigh. Option three, perhaps you float your right foot, just deepening the expression. So choosing whatever option you'd like, let's inhale here, exhale, bring the left knee towards your chest and crossing it if this feels good for you. Taking the expression that feels good for you, inhale, and exhaling, settling into your expression. So let's settle in here, remember inhaling, just lengthening and exhaling, deepening. Let's inhale here. Exhale, dropping my right knee and crossing the left ankle, <sighs> inhaling, exhaling, dropping the right leg, exhaling, <sighs> bringing my left knee up slightly and feel free to twist slightly. Perhaps I'm just twisting it here or perhaps here or taking it even deeper. Maybe you're dropping your left knee completely down. Feel free to extend your arms open wide into the shape of a T. And if you'd like to take the expression even deeper, look over your shoulder towards your left fingertips. Inhale here, exhale, releasing the left leg, bringing the right leg to meet it. Let's slowly shake our ankles out, dropping our knees from side to side, releasing the lower back. We'll meet me in the middle with our knees pointing towards the sky, working on modified pigeon pose on the opposite side. So let's inhale here, squeezing our right knee towards the chest, and exhale, crossing your right ankle over your left knee. So version one. Perhaps if you'd like to take it a little deeper, we'll inhale here, taking a deeper expression, threading your hands through your legs, clasping behind your left thigh, or perhaps you're extending your feet even more, engaging, lifting the heel towards the sky. Whichever expression feels best for you. So inhale here. Taking whichever expression is best. Inhale 
inhale here, lengthening through the heel, and exhale, releasing your leg and releasing your right leg. Let's drop our left leg down. We'll pull our right knee slightly in on the inhale. On the exhale, guide it over as far as what feels comfortable for you. So perhaps here, slightly a 45 degree angle or bringing the twist even deeper. Perhaps if it feels good, you open your arms, making the shape of a T. And if you'd like to take the expression even deeper, you can gaze over your shoulder towards your right fingertips. Inhale here, finding length through our spine, through our arms, and exhale, releasing the position. Bringing both knees to the sky, hands can come out into a T, and feel free to rock your legs back and forth, just shaking out your lower back. If it feels good, we'll inhale, Bring our knees up, giving yourself a slight hug. Let's bring our feet towards the sky. If possible, you can grab your ankles and we'll come into happy baby pose. Or perhaps bringing your fingers around your big toe, whichever feels best for you. And just relaxing to happy baby pose, knees coming down to either side. Feel free to rock back and forth slightly if it feels good. Let's inhale here. And exhale, bringing our ankles together, dropping our feet. Now let's bring it into Shavasana. So stretching our feet out in front of us, perhaps bringing your ankles shoulder width apart, checking in with your shoulders, and perhaps even mowing them down slightly. Palms facing up towards the sky. Feel free to take any movement here to just really get comfortable and sink into this position. Now if you do this in bed, right before it's time for sleep, feel free to drift off into a nice, restful evening. So imagine on each inhale, just bringing some breath to every part of your body. And on each exhale, releasing any tension or any stress. Inhale. Let's bring movement to our body, shaking our fingers and our toes. Perhaps bringing your knees together and dropping them to the right side, rolling over to your right side. Perhaps using your left hand to help guide you to a comfortable seated position. Let's start, let's finish where we started. So by coming into a comfortable seated position, rolling the shoulders up, 
back and down, finding some space in our spine, imagining there's a cord extending through our head, up through the sky, dropping the chin, softening the gaze if it's comfortable. Let's inhale through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Let's open our eyes slightly, bringing our palms over our head. Exhale, bring the palms in front of our heart. Feel free to use this position, the sequence, before bed, and allow yourself to drift off. May you move throughout this week feeling rested and relaxed. Namaste.